In this video, we will show you how to further fine-tune the access to the Awingo appliance. By default, every user uh, in the domain can, can log into the Awingo appliance. So this is a, a first thing we would like to do. We would like to start restricting access to specific users and specific groups uh, in uh, Awingo. Um, the configuration of who can log in uh, in Awingo can be found under Configure User Connector. Um, as you have seen, uh, we, we just added the first uh, domain to Awingu and on the left side some extra menus have appeared. These menu items are all things we can configure per tenant. So if you plan to go to multi-tenancy, everything on the left side you can configure per, uh, per tenant. Everything on the right side is for the full uh, appliance. By default, if I go to the user connector, you will see that uh, everyone is allowed to, uh, to log in and that there are no extra admins, that only the, the built-in user is currently admin. So what we would like to do is we would like to start configuring that only specific groups can log into this uh, system and that only um, uh, specific users or admin and that they don't have to use that built-in admin account anymore. Uh, Awingu is based on something which is called labels. Uh, and um, before we can assign a, a label to a, a specific permission, like for example the login permissions, we need to create those labels. Um, user labels actually correspond with security groups or users in Active Directory. So once we have created those configuration objects, we can assign them um, in Awingu. There are two ways we can do this. Either uh, we can just start typing. So if we start typing and we say group and then give the, the, the security group name, we can create the label this way. But it's uh, more easy and uh, less uh, error prone if uh, we, we import those labels automatically from the Active Directory. And to do that, uh, you have to go to Manage Labels. And then at the bottom of that page, you see that there is a possibility to import groups and import users from Active Directory. Um, during the previous video, we have configured that bind user. Um, that bind user is actually here used to fetch the uh, security groups and the users from Active Directory. So if you don't have a, a bind user specified or if there is a, a, a fault in the username or the password, you will see that if you click on import groups from Active Directory, that you don't have the list of all the users and the groups, but that you will have like a red error mentioning that it's impossible to fetch the group. So if you have this error, it means that there is a, a fault in your username or password. A common made mistake is, for example, that, that the password needs to be reset at first login or something like that. So please make sure that the password you have set is, a, is fixed and, and, and uh, is not uh, expired. So in my case, I'm going to search for a few groups uh, which are called training admins and training users. So I'm going to use those two groups in my, uh, in my configuration. So if I click on, on them and on import, uh, Awingu will create those um, uh, configuration labels so, uh, and I can use them in my configuration. Uh, same thing for individual users. So I'm also going to look at my own account. So if I look for Steven, I have my own personal account on this uh, domain and I'm also going to import it. Uh, this doesn't mean that no other users can log in. This only means that I can use Steven in one of the, the configuration files uh, to restrict, for example, access to specific uh, things. So now those two labels are uh, uh, created, so uh, the two uh, group labels and the user label. I can go back to the user connector under configure and I can for example very easy say that not uh, not everyone is allowed to log in but only for example everyone who's in the group training admins, everyone who's in the group uh, uh, users and for example my own uh, account which is not in any of those uh, two groups. So if I click now on add um, anyone in any of those two security groups or my own personal account is allowed to log in. And then the second thing I would like to do is I would like to specify that my account, uh, Steven, and everyone who's in the group training admins is also admin on the uh, Awingo appliance. So if I would log in with my own account, uh, you will see that I'm, uh, I'm admin in, uh, in Awingu, so I don't need to use the, the built-in account uh, anymore. Also, you will see that if you try to log in with a user which is not part of any of those security groups, there will be an error message saying that uh, the user is not in a valid authentication group and is not allowed to uh, log in. The second thing uh, I would like to do is also start restricting that built-in user. So for the moment, that built-in user can still connect from, uh, from anywhere. I'm going to restrict that to my own IP address. So the uh, reason I'm going to do that is because uh, later on in, in one of the next videos, I'm going to enable multi-factor authentication so that you can only log in in Awingu after providing your username, password, and a multi-factor uh, authentication uh, uh, solution. Um, the built-in user doesn't have MFA enabled for the very simple reason that the built-in user is used 
for accessing the appliance at, the, at any moment, at any time. So um, to make sure that that's always possible, there is no uh, MFV possible on that uh, built-in user, but we can restrict it to a specific network. So uh, if I go to global um, general information, you will see that there is a, a management user over here and that we can specify a whitelist. So if I uh, enable the whitelist and I'm, for example, specify that it's only allowed to uh, to connect from my IP address, then uh, this built-in user cannot be used from any uh, other location. Also be careful if you're setting a, a, a whitelist, Awingu will check if you're actually in that whitelist for the moment. So again, for the very simple reason that you, you don't want to lock out your uh, built-in user. So um, I've restricted access to, uh, to the Awingu appliance to only specific groups. I restricted admin to also a specific group of users and my own account. And I have restricted the access for the built-in user to uh, a specific whitelist. In the next video, we will start adding uh, application servers and applications.